name is Valsala Kumari and I am the Executive Director of Kudumbashree. Uh, just a few words about Kudumbashree. It is a state-sponsored um, program for eradicating poverty. Kudumbashree represents, or rather Kudumbashree has, 4 million poor women and it is one of the strongest networks of poor women in the entire country. Uh, this is just the logo of Kudumbashi, which the three stems representing um, economic development, social development, and women's development. The challenge and solution, um, the, our greatest challenge was to eradicate poverty in a very cost-effective manner. When we started Kudumbashi about 15 years back, according to statistics, there were about 35 to 40% poor people in our state, but now, there's hardly a person who goes on an empty stomach at night to sleep, with the possible exception of very remote tribal colonies, where we are focusing uh, this year. Now, um, what was the solution? In very simple terms, we focused on empowering women and also on engendering governance. Um, poverty is, as you all know, is a political issue. It is also an issue of governance, and governance had hitherto been androcentric, the women being totally bypassed. So this gap is what we try to fulfill. And uh, what um, the, the next slide speaks about the, um, some of the details of the solutions. One is we focused on inclusive development, which means that women who had not been part of the governance system were brought into our governance through a close link with the Panchayati Raj institutions. Now, 50% of the Panchayati Raj institution representatives are um, earmarked for women. And of the 50% women representatives, 61% are from the Kudumbashi network. It shows how much the women of Kudumbashi have become empowered to take up roles of um, importance in the local governance structure, starting with the Gram Panchayat, Block Panchayat, and the District Panchayat. Now, how did we go about it? Basically, by collectivization of space and power of poor women through networks of poor women's neighborhood groups. And unlike in uh, the rest of the country, we call our groups not self-help groups, but neighborhood groups, because we believe that they have to be in close geographic proximity. And uh, we always say in Malayalam, which is my language, which means an echo away. The, all the women should stay together at a distance, which can be, if you yell out, the rest of the group should be able to hear you. Then the, the next uh, method which we adopted was institutionalization of convergence platform at the local level governance structures. Panchayati Raj and the Kudumbashi CBO network, they have excellent synergy, each one supporting and empowering the other. I mean, I don't want to go into details because the time given to me is so very limited. Um, and we, as I stated earlier through the pictorial depiction of the logo of Kudumbushi, the three focus areas are one is local economic development. We have over 50,000 uh, small and medium enterprise, micro enterprise, micro enterprises and uh, really micro enterprises ranging from soaps and detergents to ITs and uh, call taxis. Uh, we also engage in natural farming. Uh, we have 53,000 joint liability groups, which are basically uh, uh, collectives of women farmers. Under the social development, we have BUDS, or the schools for the mentally challenged. We have 55 of them. We have BUDS Rehabilitation Center, again for the mentally uh, challenged persons, 200 of them. Ashraya, which is a project for the destitutes, the poorest of the poor, or the ultra poor. We take care of about 82,000 destitutes in the state. Then the next is uh, through gender self-learning program. Women um, have access to a portal, web portal called sreeshakti.org, and women converse amongst themselves through this portal, and uh, they come out with excellent ideas, and we finally bring out books on certain themes. Uh, we've already developed books on women and uh, violence, women and um, health, labor, women and labor, and right now we are doing a book on women and uh, mobility. And uh, we've also done, as a pilot phase, crime mapping in 72 uh, panchayats. Um, that's geographically taking, uh, you know, taking a map and then mapping out where the crimes happen by going um, door to door, finding out whether women had felt safe in a particular area, whether there was any crime committed against women. We also map the time when crimes were committed, and we give it to the Panchayati Raj institution. Simple things like you know, putting a light on the street saves a lot of women from this uh, insecure feeling. And 
and it has brought down the uh, crime rate in that particular area. Now, the police department has asked us to share our crime mapping data with them, which we will be doing shortly. And the, the, uh, the first thing that I mentioned was Kudumbashi is a cost-effective way of getting people out of poverty. We work with, whereas many other states have about 6,000 and 7,000 staff members, we work with just less than 200 staff members. Naturally, the question arises, then how do you solve poverty with just 200 people? The answer is the tremendous amount of community support that we get. For each district, we have about 30,000 to 50,000 community volunteers. They volunteer their services, they volunteer their time, and very little amount is paid as their traveling allowances. Next is, this is an important area where uh, we are focusing, we have been focusing on natural farming because we want our people to eat toxic free food stuff. Therefore, we have collective farming. Our women are all poor women who do not have land. Therefore, we take land on lease and we have collective farming on leased land. We have 53,000 collectives of poor women agriculturists. We have 10,000 master farmers who are helping them out. We have 800 farmer facilitation centers, which is a knowledge hub for these women farmers to come and exchange ideas. And um, we are cultivating on 24,000 hectares um, paddy, vegetables, tubers, and other crops. We also have labor groups for agriculture-related activities in the urban areas. This is just some pictures. This is the uh, call taxi run by our women. These are all poor women who finished learning their driving lessons and who now have started moving out of their districts. They are now running long distance and they're making a profit. This is uh, in partnership with the private agency. We, have what, we make the leather uppers of the leather shoes. This uh, is a typically cultural program which used to be the forte of men, but women have made um, intrusion into this male forte, and this has been this is a drummer's um, group, which uh, which who are called for festivals and fairs and for political uh, meetings, and this is uh, modeled as an enterprise, and they make money out of it, and this is Santwanam, uh, which is um, a paramedical service. And uh, one of our colleagues is here, seated here, and she has a kit. And uh, the previous presentation was asking for uh, finding out avenues for distributing their products. I think Kudumbashi is one of the best uh, avenues that you could possibly think of with four million poor women. And these women are um, uh, plus two or high secondary past students with uh, science background. They are given a kit which consists of a lot of small uh, equipment which takes body mass index, um, fasting blood sugar, then um, uh, blood cholesterol level, etc. And the kit costs only 20,000 rupees. And uh, one of the colleagues who is seated here, she gets, she makes, she used to make about 25,000 rupees per month out of this. They go door to door, uh, from family to family, uh, and patients who are not, who are bedridden, especially, they cannot afford to travel to the hospital. So these women's services are really valued. This is a bud, typical bud school, a school for the mentally challenged, and the potential of the idea to expand to Africa. Um, uh, Her Excellency, the Ambassador to India from Ethiopia, had visited us along with the Honorable Minister for Social Welfare and uh, Youth Affairs, and they were really impressed by what they saw on the field. And uh, I was invited to um, Ethiopia thanks to DFID and um, the IPE Global. Uh, we did make presentations in Ethiopia too, and I understand that a, a high-level delegation is coming over to India to um, have interactions with uh, us. And uh, why we say that we will be able to take it to African countries is because of the experience that we've had. We have been designated as a national resource organization for poverty eradication, and we are helping about 11 states in the country um, in uh, giving them technical, and, um, uh, technical support and implementation support in 11 states of the country. So therefore, we feel that our track record in these um, uh, states will help us take the idea uh, to ex uh, or to expand it to the rest of the country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, any questions? Thanks, and, and, and it's really great that Kudumshri has some of their field level entrepreneurs here, and I encourage you to catch up with them because it's, it's not often that uh, uh, we have them honoring us at conferences yeah. like this. There's also one more person who is in charge of the cafe Kudumbashi, which is like a food court, trying to bring in uh, ethnic cuisines from different districts under the same umbrella. He's also present, so you can have interactions with him. You can also have interactions with Santwanam, which is the paramedical um, service personnel. 
Could you point them out, please? It'll be easier yeah. for the audience. He is Mr. Ajay Kumar, who is in charge of the Cafe Kudumbashri, which has won such a lot of acclaim that one of the international um, airlines has approached us and asked us if we are willing to cater in their international flight. And she is Deepika, who is a paramedical, who goes from door to door, and she makes around um, 15, between any, anywhere between 15,000 to 25,000 rupees per month. She does all these uh, BP examining, body mass index, cholesterol, etc., etc. Thank you.